In this video, I'm going to be going over the top 10 best budget cards for under 10,000 MT right now in NBA 2K23, my team. So these are going to be the best cheap budget cards because there's other budget cards that go for like 20, 25, 30,000 MT. But if you guys want to know the best super cheap budget cards, guys, they're going to be around 5 to 10K that are super cheap, but still amazing budget cards. These are going to be my top 10 in my opinion. So coming in at the number 10 spot for under 10,000 MT is going to be this Dark Matter Cam Whitmore. Even though I think he's probably not the best, like one of the best next cards, he's still a pretty good shooting guard. He's six foot seven at the two, six foot eleven wingspan. His stats are gonna be amazingly um, amazing all around. Like he's got good defense. He can drive to the basket with a 98 driving dunk, 97 vertical. He's fast, 97 speed, 97 acceleration. And he also does have some very good dribble sigs, the Steve Francis size up, the tray escape, Dame behind the back. He's got really good dunk packages with the quick drops off one and the front clutches. His jump shot is a little bit questionable in my opinion. That's the only thing I'm still kind of figuring out with Cam Whitmore is how good his jump shot is because sometimes it feels a little bit weird. Sometimes it feels good, you know, as a release. So I think it's an all around decent jump shot and he does have amazing defensive tendencies. So I think Cam Whitmore for sure going to be a top 10 budget card for under 10,000 MT. Coming in at the number nine spot is going to be Gali Sopohiro Turkoglu, a six foot 10 point guard, six foot 11 wingspan. He's still six foot 10 at point guard with a really good jump shot. The John Stockton base, Trey Young upper on very quick timing. He's got great dribble sigs with the Kyle Lowry size up, the Curry escape. You know, so he's six foot ten. He's gonna play good defense. He's got 25 Hall of Fame badges. Yes, Yuta Turkaloo isn't some crazy you know, over, overpowered budget card like he once was. He's still a really good budget card. He's just not going to be at the top of the budget card list like he used to be. But Huda Turkoglu for sure still going to be a top 10 budget card for under 10K. But coming in at the number eight spot, you still got to give it to Marcus Saul. He's seven foot one at power forward, seven foot four wingspan. And if we're talking about budget cards for under 10K, he's really like the only big that you can find that's actually good. There's like Pink Diamond Peter, but you know, he's a little bit questionable. There's like Mo Bamba, Tyson Chandler, but Marcus Hall is so much better of a power forward, even as a center than most of those cards. He's a great defender, 92 block, 92 perimeter, 98 interior defense. So he's a great defender. He's got a good player model. He's pretty fast in game, you know, 90 speed, 90 acceleration. My favorite part about this card though, easily has to be his jump shot, a really good release. I think it's great in the catch and shoot. He's a really good pick and pop power forward, a guy that can play defense, has a good player model, and I think for sure deserves to be in this top 10 coming in at the number seven spot though is going to be the dark matter andrew wiggins i'm super high on this card he's like right around that 10,000 mt mark he's like 9 10 11 12,000 mt somewhere in that price range so sometimes i see him for under 10k sometimes he's like 10 you know 10,000 11,000 but he's going to be a shooting guard small forward six foot seven with a seven foot wingspan so pretty good height wingspan and player model for the shooting guard position he's a great defender 92 block 97 steel 97 lateral quickness 96 perimeter 92 interior defense he's almost got every single hall of fame defensive badge in the game and he's also a great slashing two guard he's got great dunk packages he's got a 98 driving dunk 98 vertical he's fast he's good at getting to the rim he's got great triple six with the d mitch size up the curry escape dame behind the back and he also does have a capable jump shot i think it's a really easy jump shot to green with might be a little bit slower and then some other card you know other cards releases in the game but i do think it's a capable jump shot and he actually does have some really good defensive tendencies all gonna be at a 95 so if you're looking for a card that plays good defense can slash at the basket hit the wide open three i think andrew wiggins is the perfect card to go with at the shooting guard position for under 10,000 mt but coming in at the number six spot is gonna be jairus walker a six foot eight small forward seven foot wingspan he's one of those amazing next cards in the game he's a great defender 90 block 94 steel 95 perimeter 97 interior defense i mean these stats for a card that's under 10k like i think jairus walker is actually only 5000 mt to have these level of stats and badges is kind of ridiculous also to have these good defensive tendencies and really good animations he's got a great jump shot with the tobias harris base oscar robertson upper on very quick timing i think still a pretty good jump shot he's got the tray sigs the tray fade so he's gonna move like a guard and then he's also got the front clutches so really good attack in the paints and i do think he's gonna be the sixth best budget card for under 10,000 mt but coming in at the number five spot is gonna be the dark matter west unselled a six foot seven point guard six foot ten wingspan and i think west is an amazing budget point guard like the fact that you can get west 
for under 10k is kind of crazy value wise he's a great defender he's quick he's athletic he's got a great jump shot one of my favorite point guard jump shots in the game on a budget card with the kobe base john collins upper on very quick timing he's got amazing dribble saves with the d row size up the tray escape dame behind the back so he can move really well he's quick on the court and he does also have great defensive tendencies with a 95 pass interception 95 on ball steal a 98 contest shot and a 98 block shot you're just all around was unsettled an absolute beast at point guard at the number four spot though is going to be another great budget point guard in scotty barnes a card that you can debate is somewhat like a top 10 point guard he's six foot eight at the one seven foot two wingspan i think he's such a good defender like 97 block 97 steel 95 perimeter 93 interior defense he's got amazing defensive tendencies but he also just gets those crazy good animations on defense and he's amazing at getting to the paint that's probably one of the better things about scotty barnes is having that steve francis size up the john ball escape you know really good sigs for getting downhill and getting to the paints and then he also does have the quick drops off one the quick drops off two but i feel like he's almost unblockable at going to the rim so for a slashing point guard a guy that can play elite defense really good at slashing to the paints and actually does have a solid jump shot he's now got the garland base scotty barnes upper on very quick timing it's not a terrible jump shot for a point guard like scotty barnes at the number three spot though is going to be another card from that encore promo and that's going to be dark matter rudy gay a six foot eight shooting guard seven foot three wingspan and rudy gay has one of the better player models in the game you know for a shooting guard and his jump shot is so easy to time with probably my favorite release in the game or at least one of my favorite jump shots you know it's just so easy to green with he's got the rudy gay base rudy gay upper on very quick timing it's a nice fast jump shot but it's also so easy to time with i feel like he's got such a big green window that if you're wide open in the catch and shoot or or off the dribble it's very hard to miss with this card and then he also does have some solid zigs with the jimmy butler size up the john ball escape and the dame behind the back tendencies are also great all out of 90 and i think he's going to be the third best budget card for under 10,000 mt but coming in at the number two spot is going to be another card from the encore promo and that's going to be karma alone a six foot nine small forward seven foot wingspan even though you know i don't like karma alone as a person but in 2k he's such a good small forward on his dark matter you know if we're just going off you know the card itself and not talking about karma alone but yeah he's such a good defender in game 98 block 92 steel 96 perimeter 98 interior defense like he's almost got invincible level stats and then he's also got a great new and improved jump shot with the marco fultz base tim duncan upper on very quick timing i think it's an amazing jump shot and then he's also got great dribble sigs he's got pretty good dunk packages and elite level defensive tendencies but coming in at my number one spot the best budget card in the game right now for under 10k i do think is dark matter sar thompson now you can't go get a men thompson anthony black grady dick those cards might be number one but they're a little bit more expensive they're like 14 15 20 000 mt so i do think a sar thompson for under 10k is the best budget card he's six foot seven at the two seven foot wingspan he's a really good defender but he's hyper athletic and great at getting to the paint he's got a 99 driving dunk 99 vertical his jump shot is absolutely money with the o'shea base rudy gay upper on very quick timing he's got great dribble sigs he's got the best dunk packages in my team he's got almost perfect defensive tendencies and yeah i think i saw thompson just an absolute beast at the shooting guard position but like i said guys those are going to be my top 10 budget cards in the game for under 10k but let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other budget cards for under 10k you guys would consider putting in this top 10 and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace